All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Kodesh. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, Lee, we will, and the salute and the Shalom to all the Akim that are out here laboring and pushing this truth in all sincerity and in truth. The title of this lesson is going to be. Um, uh, might be um, Esau's blessing uh, was death or, or something like that. Con, con, uh, it's going uh, to be death, the blessing of Esau, right? Now let's get let's get Genesis. 27 and 41. Right, you say, well, let's, well, chapter 40. It says, no, it's like it, verse 40. In Genesis 27 and 40 it says, and by thy sword shalt thou live, and thy conscience are in. And shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass. Without have come, without shall have thy dominion. Thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. Okay. So, so Esau's blessing is what is a blessing of death. Okay, his blessing is right. Uh, Esau's blessing, a part of Esau's blessing is the sword. Okay. And with that sword, he has done what, man? He has taken over the whole world, man, by the sword. Okay? Let's get this, Psalms 58. I'm just going where the Spirit take me. This is uh, Psalms 58 and 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. Hold on. Well, let's start here. 52, uh, uh, kind of verse 2 says, Yea, in heart ye work wickedness. Ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. The wicked are estranged. Kind of, though it says, The wicked are estranged. From the womb, they go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. All right. Now, Esau, he all he does is lie. Okay, all he can do is lie. He can't ever be truthful about nothing, man. Okay. Now. Esau knows that he that his message is a message of death. Esau knows that. Okay, he knows it, man. Right? And he wants us Israelites to to uh to stay um um in that dead state. Okay? That's why he's coming with this with uh with uh with this bullshit about uh, 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 about us being a hate group and all this nonsense when we're just coming when we're just coming out of the scriptures okay Hebrews 4 Hebrews 4 and 12 it says for the word of Yahweh is quick and powerful sharper than any two edged sword piercing even to the divining asunder of soul and spirit and other joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and the tents of the heart. Okay? So when the scriptures come out, uh the true spirit and the true the feelings of Esau Edom it manifests. Okay? Because this word it cuts Esau to the core, man, and he hates it. Okay? And that's why in slavery they they uh they uh in slavery they told us to worship them right they didn't tell us to worship 
Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. They told us to worship them. Okay? Let's get Ezekiel real quick. Ezekiel 35. Ezekiel 35 and uh, 5, it says, Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Okay? So Esau pursued us with the sword, man. Okay? And has shed our blood, man. Right? And he's still doing it till this day. Right? It says, Therefore, as I live, saith Yahweh, power, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Sith thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Right? So Esau, he didn't take into account. He didn't, he wasn't, um, uh, yeah, uh, he didn't, basically, he didn't give a fuck. I'm just going to put it like that, man. He did not give a fuck that he was shedding Jake's blood, man. He didn't care, man. And, and well, why should he? Why should he, man? Why should he? Because he said, uh, uh, um, then when I slay my brother Jacob, he said that. In Genesis 27 and 41, man. Right? He said, then when I slay my brother Jacob. And he did that. Okay. Let's get to uh, Obadiah real quick. Obadiah 1 and uh, 10. It says, For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Right? Now Esau, he's a very violent man man he is violent okay his blessing is the sword and he uses his sword man he uses it perfectly man he used his sword every chance he got all right man he used his his sword every chance he get man okay now uh, so on. See. This is uh. Let's get this. This is uh. Revelation. 14 and 8 it says and there followed another angel saying Babylon is fallen is fallen the great city consists that great city because she had made such like it says because she made all nations drink the wine of the wrath of her fornication okay uh, all right now these nations they have drunk Esau's wine, man. They have they have drunk, they have drunk the wine of the fornication of Babylon the Great. Okay. Now what happens? Now these these uh these so-called Middle East countries and nations, man. Right. When their uh, daughters and sons come over here to America, what happened, man? Their son and their daughter, daughters, their sons and their daughters start, 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 uh, start acting like, uh, uh, yeah, start acting like that they don't have any home training, man. All right, man? Because they, because the, the uh, women, they start, uh, dressing like hoes. All right, man? They start um, uh, 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 sleeping around with with uh, 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 other men and women. 
All right. They start uh, twerking. I mean, all that shit, man. Right. So following the ways of America, that leads to death. Okay. All right, man. And who's in charge of Babylon the Great? America. Esau is. Okay. So that is a part of Esau's blessing, man. All right, man. Esau, he is destructive, man. He he is the harbinger of death. He is the messenger of death. He is he, he is the messenger of death, man. All right. Uh, Revelation seventeen and two says, "With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have made." So like uh, I have been made drunk with the wine of her wrath. See, see, man. And now these nations, now they are pissed off and upset. Set, man. They are pissed off and upset now. Why? Because they realize that 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 uh because they realize that by following the ways of Esau is not. Profitable man, it's not, it's not profitable man. All right, man, because Esau don't, because Esau don't have have any morals, any values, man. He he don't have that. Okay. All right, man. He is the wicked man. He is that vessel unto dishonor. serious here it is this is uh I don't know. this should be it let's see come on. this is a uh, Romans 9 and 21 it says hath not the potter power over the clay now who is the potter the potter is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah all right uh power over the clay right of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor now right now that vessel that's unto honor is who Jacob Yasha Allah all right and another unto dishonor now that vessel unto dishonor is Esau Edom. Okay? Esau Edom, man. It says, it says, um, God says, what if Yahweh willing to shew his wrath and to make his power known endured with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction right now the vessels of wrath that's fitted to destruction that is Esau Edom okay that's why I that's why I said that Esau he is destructive all right man because he is meant to be destroyed he is meant to be destroyed man This is uh, Proverbs 12 and 26. It says, The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduceth them. Right? Seduceth. Uh, let's see. 
Khan, uh, Tazadak, Dock, uh, Thawar, Rai, Darak, Rashai, Thai Khan, uh, 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 Thai, right? Thai, see, seduceth, see, mm, too straight. Mm. Uh, to err, um, astray, wonder, seduced, stagger out of the way, right? So it says this. Hold on, man. What's that? Hold on, where's that? Con, it says the righteous is con the righteous meaning Jacob is more excellent than his neighbor but the way of the wicked seduced them right now the way of the wicked right who is the wicked the wicked is Esau Edom all right you can go to Malachi 1 and 1 and 4 for, for that right let's get that real quick whereas Edom saith we are impoverished but we will return to build the desolate places thus saith Yahweh of hosts they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. And the people against whom Yahweh hath indignation forever. All right. So the border of wickedness is the people of Edom. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, man, he is the border of wickedness, man. All right. Now let's go back. Proverbs twelve and twenty six. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduces them. Right now, it says it said here, uh, the I for seduce. Right, and it means to err, to uh, uh to basically uh, uh to basically wander out of the way. All right, to wander out of the way, man. Now, the serpent uh, uh, um, in the garden, right? That was Esau Edom, right? Right, when he had color, when he had, had, uh, 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 when he had melanin, right? When he had a hue, okay? Now, Esau Edom, the serpent in the garden, led who to death? led Adam and Eve to death. Okay? Because he lied. Okay? Now, he, now he, uh, he, uh, alright, man, alright, man, now he uh, deceived Eve. Right? And of course, uh, 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 um, uh, 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 Adam, Followed after Eve. Okay, so Esau's message and all that was always about death. It was it was always about that man. All right, man, man. All right, man. Uh, um, uh, this food, man. That's a weapon, man. This this. GMO food, man. That's a weapon, man. That's a weapon, man. All right, man. Because because th this food, man, it fucks your body up, man. It fucks your body up, man. See? Because this food, it is defiled, man. And who defiled the food? Food, man. Esau did, man. Esau defiled the food, man. Do you honestly think think man that the elite bacon families of Esau do you think they eat McDonald's no they don't don't man they man they eat the best food in the world man they man they eat clean food man they eat they eat good they eat good man they eat real good man they don't eat this bullshit man why why would they though man 
Why would they, man? Why would they eat this shit, man? Because they know, because they know what it do to you, man. They know it kills you. All right, man. And they make pork so goddamn cheap that Jake just buy it. Why? Why, man? Uh, because man, Jake is on a budget, man. So Jake, like, well, shit, hey, man. Shit, man, this uh, pork is cheap, so, hey, fuck it, I get it. Come on, man. All right, man, so that's a part of Esau's seduction, man. All right, man, man, uh, 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 right, man, uh, uh, um, uh, Esau, he, um, that's a part of his... His seduction, man. He makes wickedness. He makes wickedness look good, man. He makes wickedness look attractive, man. To who, man? To Jake, man. All right. And Jake is like, oh well, shit. I mean, well, well, it can't be. Well, it can't be that bad. Well, it is. And now Jake is all fucked up now. Why? Why? Because why? Why? Because Jake was seduced by the way of the wicked man. He was seduced by the wicked man. It says it here. It says to err astray, wonder seduced, stagger out of the way. Right. So Jake has wandered and staggered out of the way, man, because they have been seduced. They have been deceived. See? That's why the scriptures say, never trust thine. That's why the scriptures say, man, never trust thine enemy, man. It says never trust thine enemy. Here it is. Hold on. Sirach 12 and 10. All right. All right, man, uh, I know why, uh, I know I touched on other topics and all that. It's all good. That's the spirit, though. It says, uh, Sirach 12 and 10, Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Okay? So, who's our enemy, man? Our number one enemy is, is, is Edom, right? So, never trust him, man. Never trust Edom for shit, man. He can't be trusted, man. He can't be trusted. Right, man? So don't let the way of the wicked seduce you, man. Don't let the way of the wicked seduce you out of the way, man. Out of the path of life, man. Don't, don't let the wicked do that, man. Let's go back. I'm going to get something else. Real quick. This was just a, a real quick lesson, man. That's it. A real quick one, man. I didn't have any scriptures written down or nothing. Just going where the Spirit take me. Right? It says, verse 4. Psalms, Psalms, Psalms 58 and 4. It says, Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stop with her ear. Right? Now, what does poison do? poison it gets into your bloodstream right and it breaks your body down all right now what does esau's poison do right now the poison now now uh uh uh, uh, uh esau's poison is what man it's his speech man what comes out of his mouth mouth man his lies and all that man that's the poison man and what does that do man that poison it gets 
into your mind, man. And it and it have you and and it has you a believe in some bullshit. It has you a believe in that he's right when he's wrong, man. Right? And it causes you not to think straight, man. Just like just like just like poison stops your body from functioning right, right, man. It breaks down your 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 uh your uh, your white blood cells, man. It breaks your it breaks your body down, man. Right, man. It gets into your bloodstream, man, and it and it kills you slowly, man. All right. Let's get another one real quick. Uh, yeah. How do you spell deceive? Come on. There it is. To deceive the nations, right? This is, um... Let's see... Let's see... Come on, this is, um... Uh, Revelation... 20 and 7 to 8 it says and when the thousand years were expired Satan shall be loosed out of his prison right so Esau he got uh, 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 um, out of his prison during the renaissance period right it says and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four corners of the earth Gog and, and, and Magog to gather them uh, together to battle the, who kind of says the number of whom is as the sand of the sea, right? So Esau, he went out and spread his poison to the nations, man, which are in the four corners of the earth. That's that's in the four corners of the earth, man, and they believed him, man. They believed him. Why? Why? Why, man? Because, man, it was his time to. To or deceive the nations, man, for one last time. Right? But now, uh, Habakkuk 2 or 16, team, man. All right, man. Uh, uh, shameful spewing shall be on thy what? The glory, right, man? So, so the, so, so the, uh, the filth, uh, I mean, all that, man, that Esau has done, done, man. Right, and he, uh, and, uh, and he boasted in it, man. Now it's coming back to bite him in the ass, and he's upset about it, man. Right, shame, shame, shameful spewing is on Esau's glory, man. His dirty laundry has been aired out, man. Uh, all right, man. His his uh his funky socks, man. I mean, uh, draws with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, uh, with, uh, 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 dookie stains in it, man. It's all being shown, shown, man. It's all being shown that this motherfucker is wicked, man. That he is, that he is the devil, man. And that he must be destroyed, man. See? All right, man. So with that, I say shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakaf Kadash, double honors, uh, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, they rule well, and they salute and a shalom to all the Akim that's out here laboring and pushing this truth with all sincerity and the truth. And with that, I say shalom.